My name is uh, Efram Karnström. I work for Corvus Energy and I'm responsible for the offshore segment. Um, and can you also just uh, give us a brief overview of the presentation that you gave today? Yes. I uh, started with just some info about uh, our role from we started in 2009 and to, till there we are now with uh, 750 plus projects in the ocean space and uh, experience from more than 5 million running hours. And uh, I explained that this has shown us that it's needed to have uh, different kind of products for the different applications. So we now have developed a big family of uh, battery products and we have also uh, developed a fuel cell for maritime use. That was the latest part of our product family. Yeah. And then uh, we uh, looked into um, some major uh, achievements. First, our uh, latest uh, product, a high energy product, Blue Whale, as we call it. It is for huge uh, energy storage and to have a long, longer uh, discharge uh, operation. And this was commissioned and installed in a ferry last year, the first one. And we have uh, had very successful both the installation and also the operation we have seen afterward. So the clients are very happy and also this make us see that it, one thing is what we are doing on the drawing board, but what it is in the real life, it's, it's good to see that it's the same. So, and this product was intentionally uh, made for the cruise industry and uh, the big ferries, but we see also a huge uh, potential for zero emission shipping with uh, offshore vessels. So that was one thing. And another uh, major achievement that they uh, highlighted was that we are last week, we, uh, we started the world's first uh, inherently gas safe uh, fuel cell for maritime use. Uh, it was started uh, in Bergen and uh, the tests are very good. So this is uh, a small moon landing as we see. It. Uh, it means that you, this fuel cell you can place, you don't need to have it on deck, you can place it in the engine room or below the, the sea, sea level and uh, yeah, wherever you want. It's inherently gas safe. Then we went on to look at is it possible with uh, zero emission uh, PSVs today? And we strongly believe it is. And we have looked at it for some operators and we showed this case study where we are uh, comparing uh, a conventional PSV and a uh, fully electric with the, the Blue Whale battery and uh, a PSV with the compressed hydrogen, that, where you have a combination of uh, Blue Whale batteries and the hydrogen fuel cell. The reason that we have a big battery package on the hydrogen uh, version is both to, that you need a battery for the fuel cell to have the optimum lifetime because you take the fluctuation in load with the battery and in addition, uh, this battery package was a uh, bit uh, bigger than normally for a uh, normal fuel cell application. But this is because um, for um, operation with the um, platform, they will normally not be allowed to go on hydrogen in the 500 meter zone, at least for now, when this is new technology. And, but when it's getting more mature, we, we hope that also hydrogen will be approved within the 500 meter zone. So, and basically this case study shows that it's possible to do it now. Uh, the economics in it is uh, for hydrogen, it's relatively uh, equal to uh, to the conventional the diesel gen sets. It's not, it's a little bit more expensive still, but due to CO2 tax and other things that's coming into play, uh, we soon will have that at the same price level. When you come to the battery, fully electric, if that is possible, then that's a no-brainer. It's uh, it's much more efficient, and you have very high efficiency, and uh, also you have um, yeah low cost on the fuel. So the, and the total cost is approximately half of a conventional uh, diesel. But of course, this case study was for a um, short duration route, only 72 hours. So 
There are uh, the picture will change if you are going for a long route, but still for the full electric it can be done. But you need to have offshore charging. That's that's a must for the um, for the full electric solution.